Hey guys, it's me, Nikki. And Sansa. And welcome back to the sixth episode of Hidden Gems of New York. In this episode, we'll be discussing our favorite spots to take pictures in New York City. Before we start, we want to highlight that we love taking pictures. I think the whole point of going to New York for us is to get a good Instagram picture, so we're always dressed in our best outfits whenever we go out. First, we're going to talk about some tips and some things that you should bring before we talk about the places to take pictures. The first tip is to bring a digital camera. Alongside, bring a portable charger. Next, you could bring cosmetics to touch up your makeup or some powder. Before you go out to take pictures, it's always helpful to be mindful of the weather. Although you do want to look good in your pictures, always dress warm or according to the weather, just so you're not sweating, which will uh, make you look bad in your pictures. I feel like the one thing that kind of is annoying is overdressing for the weather. For example, if it's very cold out when you first go out and you bring a heavy jacket and then it ends up being warm later, it's really annoying to carry it around. With that said, we're going to go into our first favorite spot, which is subways. New York is filled with subways and they're always filled with graffiti and a super popular and famous aspect of New York. So it's always super fun to just take a quick flick as the subway arrives. Again, it's very important to be aware of your surroundings. I know the subways can be very scary at times, but if you can do so quickly, take a picture. Keep yourself protected and always stay against the yellow line. When you take pictures in the subway, you kind of have to take them quickly because the train comes very fast. And also be mindful of your hair. It might be everywhere. I know I have a bunch of pictures that my hair is just everywhere. Also, it could match your aesthetic to take pictures inside the train. On the topic of trains and graffiti, we also want to bring up our favorite graffiti spots in New York. New York is filled with wall art and graffiti is everywhere, and they're definitely a good spot to take a good picture or a selfie. I know I have a post on Instagram with graffiti walls and it just adds to my feed so well. If you're looking for something more aesthetic, I would definitely recommend the Soho area. Soho is usually filled with a bunch of street paintings that match the aesthetic of the actual place. But also be mindful of what the graffiti is saying. You want to make sure to take a look at it before taking a picture with it, just in case if it says anything offensive. A lot of art in New York tends to be political because of the world that we live in now. So just be mindful of what you're posing in front of. Um, It might go against your personal beliefs. And don't be afraid to take pictures by the graffiti. I know a lot of people walk by it, but just be yourself and do some cute poses. I think because of the population in New York, it can feel a bit awkward taking pictures of yourself, but at this point, everyone does it, so don't be ashamed. You have to remember that everyone is there for their own reason, and they probably aren't even looking at you. At the end of the day, it is a very touristic spot. Moving on, we're going to focus on flea markets. I think that flea markets are such a good area to take mirror selfies because of all the vintage mirrors that they sell. Vendors actually would rather you do this as you are promoting their stands. It's a super fun experience going to go look at clothes and then taking a quick picture right in front of their mirror. You don't even have to take a picture with it. You can honestly just take a picture of the flea markets and upload it to your Instagram. It's a cute way to use a filler for your feed. Our favorite two flea markets are Dumbo Flea and Chelsea Flea. They have super unique backgrounds and super unique vendors, so it's also important to check those out. If you do end up going to the Dumbo Flea Market, another of our favorite photo spots is by the Brooklyn Bridge. It's right next to Dumbo Flea Market and honestly one of the most touristic spots of all time. If you go to Washington Street on a good day in Brooklyn, you will see people lined up just to take that infamous photo. Sometimes it is kind of hard taking a picture of yourself because of all the people in the background, but you could always edit them out. Or you can make funny captions about them. Going back to Soho, the buildings are super unique there, so I definitely recommend taking a picture on the street. I think you can never go wrong with a brick building. They're always such a cool and basic background for all of your pictures, so definitely take advantage of the buildings that you walk past. It's super funny because when you walk in Soho, you could just see a bunch of people running into the street and running out just to get that good picture. And again, utilize different areas of the building like stairs. Talking about utilizing your buildings, we also want to touch upon um, certain buildings that you can take a good picture in. Usually by the main street in Soho, there's a lot of good clothing stores like Aritzia. So now we want to move on to um, some of our favorite photo tips. Um, Let's start with lightning. So you want to actually face where the sun is coming from. If you are taking a picture when the sun is directing towards your face, you're going to get better lighting. Lighting is super important, especially if you're editing your pictures after. I know I had many pictures that the sun was kind of weirdly aligned with my face, so it didn't really come out good. 
Try not to take live photos, turn that off, and if anything, you can always just take a long video and take screenshots of yourself afterwards. My favorite editing tool is Visco. I use the basic edits that come with the camera and they work honestly fine. I think that touching up just the saturation and brightness gives you such a better look and makes such a huge difference. If you bring a digital camera, I definitely recommend turning the exposure up. You will definitely glow in your pictures and it will make your pictures 100 times better. Digital cameras are super trendy now and you could find them for super cheap. I personally use a Canon one, but you can find one off Amazon. Before we end, we also want to touch up on parks. I think that parks are such a stable place to take pictures and New York is filled with them. Of course, the main one, Central Park, is one of our favorites. Not an underrated park, but I think it's underrated for taking pictures. Washington Square Park is just beautiful. There's so many people walking around and they could honestly add to your background. If you are taking a picture at Washington Square Park, definitely take one right in front of the arch. I also recommend taking a picture by the little skate park in the middle. Super nice. One good thing about Central Park is that it has so many lakes that you can just pose in front of. During the summer months, um, they let people canoe during the lakes and it's just super nice looking. Another place in Central Park to take your pictures are on the grassy fields. But just be mindful of what you're wearing that day because it could get muddy. The good thing about Central Park is that it's located in the middle of two very famous museums, um, the American Museum of Natural History and the Met. So if you are looking to take some more photos, you can always visit those two museums. They're about a 15 to 20 minute walk from honestly any part of Central Park. I know we mentioned a bunch of places, but New York is just very aesthetic in general. So I feel like if you take a picture genuinely anywhere, it will look fine. Wherever you are, the lights never go out since it's the city that never sleeps. And that is the end of our favorite photo spots in New York City. This is Nikki and Jean Set signing off. See you next time.